Let's look in here. Week 1 Examination Germination was fast. Seeds have sprouted and are healthy. Radicals and hypo... Hypocotals? Hypocotals? Appear strong. I don't know what that is, but whatever it is, it appears strong. Initial examination of cells appears normal. Items of note. A14 1.5 and A14 1.9 both display three cotyledons. Cotyledons? Sounds like a dinosaur. A14 to 1.2 is displaying a purple striped pattern. Huh. Week 2. Seedlings continue to grow normally and will be ready for transplant. Roots appear healthy and are steadily growing. Items of note. A14 1.5 and A14 1.9, despite their differences, are thriving well alongside the others. A14 1.2 has died. Dissection revealed little to differentiate it from the others. The discoloration does not appear to be infection or parasite related. Week 3 Examination All seedlings have been successfully transplanted. Growth continues to appear healthy. Water intake is normal. Week 1 Examination for B Group Germination has been slow. Only 50% of the seeds have sprouted. The radical is barely showing. I have my doubts on the other half. This group does have a higher chance of failure due to radiation exposure. The initial 50% of seeds initially sprouting have continued to show signs of growth. An addition, 25%, have also started to sprout. I will continue to observe the remainder. I lost BO2, 302, 305, 306, and 3 to overwatering. These seeds, these seedlings, utilize far less water than previous hybrids. A potential benefit, but I'll need to monitor them closely for proper hydration. Week 3. I've transplanted BO2, 301, 308, 310, and 315. The others have not formed a strong enough root bed to safely move. No further seeds have sprouted since week 2. <laughs>